Okay, Will Met in 2024. Will Met is one of the most popular, hottest, more expensive suburbs in Chicago. And there's things you need to know so that one, you get a house, you get it at the right price, and you don't regret the house that you bought because it does happen with people. They buy the house and they move soon thereafter. So let's get into it right away. I've been selling real estate in Wilmette for 32 years. I have six or seven properties coming on between January 1st and February 15th. So one is get with someone who knows an area that's lived in it um, and has properties coming on the market. Very helpful. The other thing is just had a client that missed out literally on 10 properties last year because they were working with a friend of a friend and they lost 10 properties in multiple offer situations, which is astounding, uh, very unimpressive. So they finally called me and I didn't know they were even doing this. They called me and said, Paul, we need your help. So um, I do have a knack for knowing other agents, knowing what to do, getting things done. So um, a much higher rate um, of getting properties at the right price and telling you if it's a silly decision. Um, as well, just we'll let you know. Uh, it doesn't matter if you buy the house, I just want you to do what's best. But if you want it, it looks good, we're gonna get it. Um, very high percentage of the time. So, well, Matt has the beautiful beach, limited um, homes for sale. There's no land in Wilmette to build on. Um, so the inventory is extremely low. Um, I have had um, people come and buy off market. I just had one about four months ago and um, the people just wanted to sell quietly. They did not want to maximize their price. I told them they could have gotten a little bit more, but they just didn't want to deal with it. So. Um, it's nice when that can just work out with everyone, nice and easy. Uh, they closed early and uh, they let the person rent back for a while. Actually, they gave them, uh, they let them live in the house for two months for free. Um, that was just part of how we structured the deal. So it's good to know about things in a tight market that are coming on uh, and knowing how to get them. So as far as Wilmette goes, um, if you're new to the area or just figuring it out, like many people are coming from the city or a new location, usually very wide-eyed, take it in slowly, and then when they finally kind of get it, what the area is like, their eyes just light up and they're like, okay, I got it. I know this is where I want to live. Cobblestone streets, large trees you can see and will met many times it looks from an aerial view it kind of looks like a, a little mini forest there's a lot of hundred year old trees beautiful trees uh, that are fairly well protected by the village and taken care of and just a very insulated cozy feel and then you can just walk to the lake the dog beach the harbor, uh, there's a long wait list for boats in the harbor, but you can get your boat in the harbor. You can get a kayak, a paddleboard at the sailing beach. Once I take people down to the beach, they really are amazed. So anybody that likes water, sailing, uh, dog beach are just enamored with it. They say, well, this, I, yeah, get us a house here. This is where we want to be. So then we get into pricing. The prices have gone up pretty close to a million dollars, 800 to a million dollars price increase in the last about five years for new construction. It's just astronomical. Again, supply and demand, very few properties available. The one that I sold recently, um, they off market, it was a builder who bought it he's put the frame up so far and you know he will sell it it's about two and a half million it's on a little bit smaller lot a house like that would have been about eight hundred thousand dollars less five years ago so just to give you an idea so in the northern part of east Wilmette, in the cage if you've heard of it uh, Chestnut, Ashland, Greenwood, and Elmwood. Those are the, the street names that make up that acronym. Uh, the lot sizes are traditionally a little bit bigger. There's some really large older homes. 
and there's been many new construction homes built but the homes in the caves can go you know upwards of well they could go upwards of eight or ten million but usually you know three to five million um, many of them and then you have the homes along the lake which those could be the newer homes could be pushing 20 million um, so there's some very expensive homes but let's look at uh, well met as a whole the average price of a home is right around a million dollars just over and um, the sweet spot for homes is really between 900 and 1.4 is where a lot of people want to find homes that price coming in um, to move into the area so um, you can you can buy closer to the lake or you can go just a little bit further out a few minutes and you'll find things that are um, less expensive and actually sometimes are a little bit nicer and newer uh, as well um, and you might you know bike ride or drive two three five minutes more to get to the lake but really not a big deal in the scheme of things so in 2024 with rates going down a bit um, it, it's going to be a pretty heated market uh, the homes that I have coming on um, you know people are reaching out to me to see if I have anything coming on um, because of my activity in the area and you know I kind of let them know I'm in conversations with a number of people that are past clients or neighbors and you know future clients and the activity level is kind of crazy so people really want to know what's going on and um, typically things are going to go on the market it's going to play out there's going to be multiple offers you're really going to scrub down the offers and go with who's you know the most competitive there are many many people i'm getting emails from people saying i have cash buyers so people that actually are going to wire the money um and buy the home um that are looking so they make sure they let you know that so that you you know put them first on the list is who you would consider most seriously for the house that's the type of demand it is so um, again uh, the schools are some of the most highly rated in the state and have um, you know many uh, people in other parts of the country have studied the local schools because of their reading and math programs um, you have a tremendous park district and the downtown of Wilmette is off the charts people come here all the time for restaurants now um, some tremendous restaurant groups that have come in open restaurants and um, you know it's hard to get a table sometimes is the the worst thing the food and the walkability to the restaurants is tremendous so a lot of fun and it's really it's kind of I mean honestly it's kind of like feels like you're back in college when you can walk a mile go to the downtown have something to eat and then you run into a bunch of people you know and next thing you know you're out for four hours having a drink watching a game uh, maybe you know bouncing between a couple restaurants or bars it's really uh, really a good time and uh, you know the thing too is you can get downtown um, if you need to go into the office uh, there's more people going in now the metro train is a very clean quiet quick scheduled commuter train that goes right into the heart of the city where most people work or you can take the l will get you into wrigley field and other areas in the city where a lot of people will work so if you're asking how do i figure all this out sounds like a lot just call text email with any questions uh, anytime nothing too small or too big um, people reach out all the time and uh, can help you through the process of what it means you know for you and your budget needs timing you know if you have children what uh, public schools are good for you if you want them or private nursery schools there's a lot of uh, working mom groups in Wilmette um, you know there's so many different things to kind of you know form friendships get to know people uh, get acclimated to the area a lot of things that are important and um, the other thing if you're moving to Wilmette you might want to consider taking up paddle 
which I'm just kidding, but I don't play paddle, but a lot of people play paddle. Um, really great social thing, and uh, people are getting in a lot to pickleball. Um, but the, the other things is like go join a biking group, go 20, 30 mile rides or more right along the lakefront up Sheridan Road. Uh, there's so much to do. It's so social, and there's campouts. For kids when they're little where you kind of form friendships with people and and uh, your kids form friendships um, so much great activity as well as the schools have tremendous support if your children need any type of extra reading or math support uh, if they have an IEP um, you know if they need extra help well Matt has tremendous support um, in the school system and outside the school system so the resources are are pretty fierce pretty great and again just call text or email if you want to figure something out in 2024 or beyond um so let me know your timing and i can kind of tailor a plan uh that'll work for you so you can get what you want in the time you want 